Hey guys, this time we're going to be adding a player health system to the game. Um, right now we don't have anything that can really kill or destroy our player, um, but that's all going to change once we get done with this. Um, I'm going to kind of break up the, uh, the adding health into two uh, parts. This first part is going to be creating the system. The second part is going to be actually causing damage to the player. Um, but what I basically want to do is I want to create a situation where we have a our first GUI element. It's going to be a health bar. Um, and I'm going to attach that to the player um, so that it'll be keyed to his health and, and, and all that. So we're going to be using a combination of GUI, uh, some global variables, um, and kind of creating a, what's, what's called a manager in order to get this stuff done. So the first thing I want to do is here's our player. Uh, he's hanging out. He's pretty cool. Uh, and right now he can fire um, and he can move. And that's about all he can do. Well, we need to give him some some life. We need to give him some some hit points uh, because, well, his monster buddy over here now has hit points, so he needs to have some some hit points. Um, but I'm not going to add his hit points straight to the player. What I'm going to do is I want to use a manager, a, a separate game object that we can store stuff on to handle this for me. Because, well, I don't want to add that much stuff to the player. I want to kind of keep him a little a little lighter. There'll be enough stuff added to him later anyway. Um, but I want to create have a separate system that's going to uh, control uh, the way his health works. Um, so to, in order to do that, what we need to do is create a new game object. Okay, so game object create empty. Um, this is going to be just a little floater that just kind of sits there. Um, it's invisible. If you can select it, it contains stuff, but as far as everybody's seeing inside the game, it's not visible. It's just kind of where it's at. Um, this is going to be end up becoming our manager. So what I'm going to actually call this is I'm going to call this uh, health uh, manager, okay? And that's going to be that's going to be our, our our kind of our helper object here. So what I want to do is with health manager, I'm going to go ahead and add an FSM. Um, and the first thing I'm going to do with this FSM with this start state is I'm going to rename it and I'm going to call it life bar, okay? Because the life bar is going to be our GUI, it's going to show up uh, and, and draw on the screen um, what we want uh, the, the viewer to see or the player to see as far as how much hit points he has left. So what I'm going to do is go to Action Browser, and the way that I'm going to design this is I'm going to do is what's going to go to GUI. Okay, this is where all your nice, wonderful graphical buttons and stuff are, are listed. I'm going to use what's called Draw Texture, uh, and I'm going to add that to the state. Um, and the reason I like draw texture is I can select any number of different uh, textures. Uh, right now, these are just some ones that, that Playmaker has thrown in there. I end up creating a, a two little squares, a black square and a green square um, in Photoshop. You can use MS Paint, you can use whatever to, to kind of create a little, a little uh, texture if you want to. Um, and that's what it's going to do, it's just going to fill it up with a green square. Um, so as you see, my entire uh, view just turned bright bright green. Um, what's really neat though is and the reason I like this uh, thing is I can adjust these numbers the width and the height and shrink this thing down so what I really want to do is for or the height I'm going to set that to a, a 0.5 and the width to about a 0.1 so now I just have this health bar that's kind of in, in the corner. The really cool thing though is I can create, cause it to fade away. Now I'm going to do this a little bit differently because I like the, the effect of it is I'm going to change my width to a negative 0.5 and bring my top down by 0.5. And what that allows it to do is as my health bar shrinks, it's going to fade and get smaller and smaller and smaller until it disappears at zero. Okay. Um, but in order to do that, I have to flip the texture over. So a negative point zero or a 0 0.5 is, is what I have to set this thing up as. All right. So this, we're going to end up changing into a variable here very, very shortly, okay? Um, so the next thing I want to do is, so that's going to be our, our basic life bar. I'm going to set it off from the left by about 0.05. Yeah, there we go, something along those lines. So the next one I want to do is, with our health system, um, there's a couple of different things I want to do. Um, I want to be able to hurt our player, but later on I might want to do some health pickups. Um, so I want to add to where we can heal the player as well. Um, what this is going to look like is this. This is going to be our player health system. All right. So right now we have our GUI and our health bar. Um, and there's two things that we're going to want to do to it. We're going to need to heal, 
to add hit points up until our maximum number of hit points and we're also going to hurt so we're going to hit subtract hit points until there's no hit points left and that's going to equal death all right so this is going to be our our current system um, now both of these are going to have a return bar coming coming back except for except for death so it goes back to the to the GUI all right so what we want to do is create two states I'm going to add a state here and then add another state here so this state one here let's call this one heal and then uh, state two this is going to be hurt all right so let's create a couple of vents all right we're going to have a hurt event and we're going to have a heal event okay and add those transitions heal and we're going to add a transition hurt all right so heal goes to heal hurt is going to go to hurt and then we are going to add, need to add that last one uh, call it death all right um, and death will be uh, what happens when it gets killed so add transition let's see go to event last event will be death and then add that transition death check all right so here's basically the same thing that we had before um, in our player health system all right but we don't have anything don't have it doing anything yet all right so what we need to have happen is we have all these little draw things we have our draw textures um, and I'm just going to leave these alone. Um, the reason is the, the way that the game is going to end up calling our heal and our hurt, we'll get to this in shortly, is I'm going to have other uh, FSMs send out an event to our, um, to our player and to this uh, health manager in order to trigger the healing and the hurting. Okay, so these events are going to come from other game objects. Okay, and what they're going to do is trigger these events. So all I need to have happen here is add a transition that says finished and go back, and then this one here again add a transition say finished and go back. All right. So in this case, it should sit at life bar all the time except when it's coming to these two sides. So first thing I need to do is add a variable all right then this variable is going to be our global health variable all right so if we go to variables go to global variables uh global variables are the big daddies these are the ones that you know need to carry throughout the entire scene entire entire game you can store them they're actually um have their own place in, in your asset list so they're, they're kind of kind of permanent and this variable is going to be called player all right simple float value and what I want that to do is this is going to be our, our big boy player health when this equals zero the guy dies is going to, the scenes over the games over uh, we're going to be using using this thing a lot um, and what I want to do is when I heal we're going to need to go back to our wonderful math right and what I'm going to want to do is I want to do a uh, actually what I want to do is I want to do a logic first and I want to do a float compare add this okay and then what I want to do is go to uh, float compare and the float one needs to be our player health and let's say for the moment we'll go to global variables let's give our player say 10 hit points okay so 10 hit points and what I want to have happen is whenever float 2 is 10 all right whenever it is uh, equal to or greater than I just want it to be finished okay but when it's less than it'll go to the next you know none it's going to go to the go to the next thing okay so what I want to have is 10 float 10 and then action browser and then I want to go to math and I want to go to float add add action to state and what I'm going to do is add whatever the, the, the heal will be. So in this case, it's going to be player health. Uh, let's say add one. All right. And so the way the system is going to work is it's going to do a float compare. And if it's already 10 or equal to 10 or greater than 10, all right, it's not going to add anything else to it. All right. Um, as a matter of fact, we're going to probably add a thing over here to where if it's, e if it's greater than 10, it can set the float to, to, to be back to 10.
Okay, um, there's a couple different kind of switches and stuff we can design on this, but for the moment, just keep it simple. Float compare. Uh, if it's 10 or greater, I don't want you. I just want you to go ahead and be finished. If it isn't, then I want you to go ahead and add the float and then go back. All right. With hurt, it's going to be basically this the same kind of thing. It's going to be a uh, float compare. All right, and we're going to do float one, and that's going to be global player health. Uh, float 2 is 0 and if it's uh, greater than it's not going to do anything if it's less than we're going to die and if it's equal to we're going to die alright so that's going to be our float to compare and then we also want to do our math float subtract okay Like so, float variable, global, player health. Make sure you put your float subtract before you do the compare. See how it's going to be opposite? You want to add to it till it's greater than, and you if it's less than it, you want to add it to it to increase your health. And then for the hurt, you want to hurt and then compare and see if it if you're if you're dead yet. Okay. So in this case, float subtract, and I'm just going to set that to one. Uh, we can change this to something else later, so for different enemies and different damage types, they can do more or less less damage. Uh, and then you do a float compare, and if it's greater than, less than, then, then greater than, then just say we're just finished, we're done. If not, then it's going to be death, okay? And then this would be, you know, kill self. So this is the basic kind of setup we have going on and uh, what we're going to do in the next video is we're going to hook all this stuff up and make it so that you can be damaged by, by a monster.